Hello everyone. Today we're going to do a viewer request video for the Node Res Presence Faker. And it does what it says. It's going to simulate or fake that we're home when we're not. So lights will come on and off and do various things. I haven't played with this before, so I thought it'd be a little bit of fun. Uh, so we're going to learn as we go. I haven't done any of this uh, with this particular node, but like any node, it should be pretty straightforward. Um, so we learn together. Let's go do it. Okay, so I'm in my Home Assistant dashboard now, and I have all of my uh, plugins loaded over here. So we're going to go to Node Red. Load that up. And we'll just pick a miscellaneous tab. And so, like I said in the introduction, we're going to be using the Presence Faker node. So I'm going to go over here and search for it. Presence. Already I can see, maybe I spelled it wrong, but I can see that I don't have it installed. So Node-RED gives you the ability to install other nodes that have been added to the community or Node-RED has made themselves. And the way you do that is you come over here and you click on the three lines here. Somebody, some people call it the hamburger. And then I want to go to the palette. I want to manage my palette. Immediately it goes into nodes and these are all the nodes that I have installed already. But I, I don't have it in here, so I'm going to need to install it. So I'm going to search for it in the Install tab. And there are a lot of them. So I'm going to narrow my search down by typing the word Faker. So that's what I'm looking for. So here it is, the Node Red uh, Contrib. So it's a con contributed uh, node and it's Presence Faker. So we're going to install that now and read the documentation it's in, and make sure you have all the dependencies you need. I haven't done anything special to my install, so we'll see if it works. And we'll let it go through its process of installing here. And now you can see that the node is added to the palette. Pretty quick. Close that, I don't need that anymore. Now if I go over to filter nodes and I type faker, because that's what I just installed, you'll see that I have the node red presence faker. So I'm going to place it on my uh, area here. I know that's not the proper term, but that's where I put it. Double click on it. Let's see what options we have. So first of all, I'm going to give it a name. Uh, let's call it um, uh, the first faker. You can call it whatever you want. <laughs> I'm just making that up. So you can set a window of when you want this thing to actually uh, do its thing. So let's assume that um, lights don't do a lot of good in the morning time. So I'm going to do something along the lines of like 1900 to midnight or 2359. Because typically you're going to be doing stuff in your house off and on, turning lights on and off, going from room to room whenever it's dark outside. So I'm picking kind of a dark time. All right, so I, I set the window 1900 to 2359. My on times, uh, one, minimum of one, maximum of five. So that's as many times, since it's random, that's how many times it's actually gonna do this. I actually wanna probably set this to two um, and seven, just random numbers. You can play around with this and figure out what, what works for you. And the duration, I wanna leave it on. So I'm not gonna walk into a room necessarily and turn the light on and turn it right back off. So I wanna simulate it like I would be a human. So I'm going to go in there and let's just leave it on for, let's say, three minutes. Uh, or I'm sorry, the minimum duration. Uh, let's make the minimum duration three minutes. Maximum duration is going to be seven minutes. So anywhere from three to seven minutes uh, is what it's going to be. And it's hard to see on here. I can't really see, but it is three and seven. Uh, and so that's it for the actual presence faker node. Um, so now I click on done. Now what's going to happen? Anytime that this is running, I want the something to happen, right? Lights to go on or off. And so in order to do that, I need to add another additional node here from one of my home assistant lights. So we'll do a call service. 
and that service is going to be, um, let's say study light on, or just study light, because it's gonna randomly turn it on and off, so there's no on or off associated. My home assistant server, my domain is gonna be a switch. Uh, where's my switches? There it is, switch. And my service is going to be uh, toggle. And my entity ID is going to be my uh, switch ID. So study, search for study light. Um, where is it at? Switch study light. So switch study light. We'll turn that switch light on and on. And it looks like you can specify multiple entities in this call for service, but we're just gonna do the study light and then we're done here. And now we're gonna link the first faker to the study light. Now that we have the study light uh, tied to this, we just click on deploy. And again, we're learning, so it says inactive upon load. So let's look at this here. So we want to actually enable it when the flow starts up. So make sure when the flow starts up is here, unless you have another way. I mean, I'm just going by um, the way my home assistant is set up. I don't have any messaging services like MQTT or anything like that. You could use MQTT to make this start. Um, so I'm gonna click on done. I'm gonna deploy it. And the next cycle it says, if you can see that is 1900. So seven o'clock tonight. Now, uh, for experimentation purposes, I want to change this to a different time. So let's make it do something during the daytime and um, set the minimum time as 12 o'clock, which is noon and the end time as uh, two o'clock or 1400. So 2 p.m. Same kind of thing. I'm going to save it and I'm going to deploy it. And now you can see that it has done a switch or it's now off uh, from noon to 12 22 it looks like so the next time this is going to fire is at 12 22. and to refine this a little bit more because i don't want to wait so long for this demo let's make it uh 12 30. all right so deploy it And now you can see that at 12.05, it's currently set to on. And if I go to my actual home assistant dashboard, let's see if it actually turned it on. And again, we're learning together today, so I don't know if that's gonna actually work. And it did not turn it on. So we will go with, uh, we'll wait here another few seconds and it should switch again because it's uh, next status up there, next change, it's gonna be 12.05 and 22 seconds. So let's just wait and see what happens. Okay, so the time has elapsed. So 12.05, uh, 22 seconds, it's switched. It says off here, right? So if we look at over here at my dashboard, you can now see the study light is actually turned on. So it's, it's toggling. It's doing opposite of what I want it to do, or it's doing opposite of what I think it should be doing. So let's look over here and see if there's any settings we can change um, whenever it comes into play. So actually we can do this. So on the on payload, we can set it as string, which it is. We can set it to on. And then the off payload, same thing, set it to off. So we're just sending a string value through this. So I have study light and I will change this now to say study light on. And I will add another node or just copy this one. So control C and then paste it on here, control V. And I'm gonna say study light off. And for that, I need to make sure that I am doing instead of toggle I am doing uh, off or on. So in this case, it would be on, turn on would be my, my uh, service that I'm calling. And this one 
would be turn off instead of toggle. So turn off. All right, once you have the on off set in the, the faker settings, uh, we'll go in here and we'll add a state node or a switch node, I'm sorry, a switch node. And we'll create two outputs for the switch node by clicking on it and setting the first one, which already exists to off. And then we'll come down here and click on add and we'll add a second state, which is on. And we can just leave it at switch or you can name it uh, whatever you want. Faker switch, faker state or status or whatever. So then I'll connect this node here. And if the faker sends an off payload, it will go here. If it sends an on payload, it will go here to the on, turn the study light on. And we can deploy that. Now here's the thing. This is, this might be overcomplicated for doing this. I just like to know which thing it's going to do. And then I can individually adjust these. You could just leave it as faker um, straight to the light and use it as a toggle. So if we wanted to come in here, we could put this back on service toggle. And all it's going to do is it's going to turn it on and off, on and off, or it's just going to do opposite of what it is. So if you leave your house and your light is on and you have faker enabled, faker is actually going to start by turning it off and then back on and off and on. And it may end up in a state like it may stay in on after the window is over. So I prefer to just have it turn it off at the end of the cycle so it's not staying on all night long or whatever. And so now we see our next uh, state change will be on uh, at 1213. You can see that it, it set it to on here and it fed through when I uh, set up this, this flow. It set it up and said it was already on. It says switch turn off call. Let's just make sure I have that right. Oh, I have it backwards. So always double check. So switch turn on. And then the service, let me just make sure I got it right. Switch turn on. This should be off. So off and triple check off. Okay. On and on. All right. There you go. So there is the first faker. We can repeat this whole process. I'm just going to highlight all of those. I'm going to control C and then four nodes copied and I'm going to paste it again. And I'm just going to mess. I'm going to highlight it again so I can move it. Nope. Move it over here. All right. We're going to say, um, and I'm going to be more descriptive this time. I'm going to say uh, upstairs or playroom or something. Playroom. Playroom faker. Uh, we're going to do the same, everything the same here, the same amount of time. Same on payload, same off payload. I'm going to rename this one to study faker. Obviously, my naming creativity is not so good. <laughs> so playroom, and all I'm doing here is I'm going to change the name of this playroom. Oops. Playroom. I'll just copy that. Playroom light. We'll do that on the next one. And it's going to be switch, turn off, and my entity is going to change to playroom. So let's find playroom. Playroom light. All right. And we're going to say done on that one. And we're going to do the same thing for this one. We're going to call it playroom instead of study. Paste that in there. And then we'll say playroom. I'll say switch playroom. How about that? Playroom. And we'll say switch playroom light. And we'll be done with that one. And then we'll deploy. All right. So now you'll see that um, 1211 to 1217, the study light's going to be on. It'll toggle at 1217. Uh, 1207 to 1214, the faker, the playroom faker process will run or the next one will be 1214 and then it will put this, uh, 
state or the switch, this light in whatever state is opposite of where it is now. So they're both on right now and they'll, they'll trigger. So what you'll have is you'll have the playroom light go off at 1214, the study light go off at 1217. So you have this randomness going on. So I have two lights now that will toggle. And one of the cool things I can do, since I have a, another, um, let me find it here. I have another thing called a text input box. I can take this vacation status and I can, um, let me think through this here. This gets overly complicated. This gets out of the realm of, of doing, um, of doing just the, the picker, but it's kind of a cool thing I'll show you. I can, I'm gonna copy this this note here, VK status, come back over here and I'm gonna paste it with a control V. And what I can do with that is if the vacation status is, well, if it's, if it's in vacation status, in other words, if the word in the text note box that I store here is vacation or vacay, it will run this. So I can leave this running all the time um, and I can just take and delete this node and I can run it through vacation status. And then, uh, if state is true, it will run that faker or it'll, it'll do the faker state, right? So, um, I can do that on both of these. I can put it up here, put it up here. What this does essentially is it goes in and it says, okay, it sends this random stuff all the time to this vacation status node, which is just looking at a text value that I set in my home assistant configuration. And if this vacation status is the word, whatever I assign it, vacay or whatever, if it's true, it will then go and do these things here. It'll process on. If it is false, then it does nothing because there's nothing on the false branch of this node. So. What that means in simple terms is that I am running these fakers all the time. And if I want to have them enabled, so if it's, if I wanted to randomly do these light switches, then I have to set my text value to vacation. And that way, uh, it, it only does it when I'm on vacation. I don't want these random light things going on and off when we're at home or no, somebody's here. So, uh, that's one way to do that. You can also take and, and do some other stuff on the left side of this to enable or disable it and also use the vacation status as well. So, or if you have an alarm system, you can take the output of the alarm system. If your state of alarm is armed, uh, one of the armed nodes from your state of your alarm panel, you can also come over here and you can have this enabled based on whether or not your alarm panel is in alarm or in away mode, or if, if your alarm panel is in a home mode or disarmed or whatever. So a lot of different ways you can do that. That's why I like Node Red so much. I can now visually see this um, flow going from here, from this faker all the way through to what it does. So that's basically it. For Presence Picker, uh, I appreciate y'all watching all the way to the end kind of fun to play with something new and kind of learn together. Uh, I've had a little bit of experience in Node Red, so I got to, I was able to kind of bounce through a few, some of the things that I was already uh, familiar with. Um, but just play around with it, have fun. That's what this is. Um, we all play with Home Assistant and tinker with electronic stuff or toys or whatever because we like doing it. And so for me, it's fun. I enjoy sharing it with y'all so y'all can learn a little bit as well. So if you like the video, make sure you subscribe. It's very important to get those subscriptions in there. That way you get notified uh, or you get to see when I have a new video. Also hit the, the bell icon so you're notified. And then let me know if you have any comments, suggestions. As with anything, there's probably a dozen different ways to do this. I picked the ways that I'm most familiar with, the ways that I use it in my environment. So comments, subscribe, alert bell, and have a good time. We'll see you on the next one.